in some countries, geothermal energy is a relatively new technology. So there are some general misconceptions about it by the general public. One of them is that geothermal energy is similar like oil and gas exploration, where the energy source is depleted with time. And because geothermal energy has great potential for renewing the energy for the built environment, these kinds of projects need to be developed in close vicinity of the built environment. So we see a lot of not in my backyard responses from the public. We are Huisman, uh, we specialize in heavy construction uh, equipment for the energy market. And we are also operational in the energy transition. Uh, we operate Huisman Geo, we operate our own drilling rigs and uh, provide full services for uh, geothermal projects, uh, up to drilling the well, but also designing the well, engineering and uh, the complete care of the total project. Well, drilling for geothermal works pretty similar to what we know in the oil and gas industry, so the drilling process itself. But with geothermal energy, what you do is you drill two wells. One well in this direction where you harvest hot water, can be steam or hot water, and at the top it's cooled down and the cold water is pumped back into the other well. So there the water propagates from one well to the other and warms up again. So it's basically sort of a cycle. There are various challenges with geothermal drilling and exploitation, which we address by technological innovation. To give a few examples, first for the construction phase, um, there we look at the whole process and we try to identify those steps in the process that consume the most time and which are the most risky. And we see if we can solve this by new technologies. And one tool that we developed is a casing wall drilling tool. And you see with casing wall drilling, you skip the whole process of tripping in and out a drill string after you reach target depth. Also for the exploitation, we take a look at the full life cycle of a geothermal project. One of the challenges that we have identified is well corrosion and scaling. To tackle those issues, Huisman developed Huisman Composite Tubulars, which is a fully composite downhole tubular system for well construction purposes. And by shifting from steel to composite, uh, you don't suffer from corrosion, you have much less scaling, and on top of that also much less pump losses. Local policies and legislation between member states vary a lot. And the procedure for moving around equipment and personnel is not as efficient as one might think. So the European government can help grow the sector by simplifying these policies. 